the formidable robot. As a mother, it is my responsibility to help my kids avoid danger at all costs. Is what I would say if I was overprotective of my kids, sure I protect them from the necessary dangers like strangers or wild animals. But my three sisters and my husband help alongside me, so what's the harm? Well a few days before this, I was in my room getting ready for the day and preparing to watch my youngest son for as long as I need to before he goes to bed. He is about 10 years old, and is a computer kid that usually spends his time coding on that thing called Scratch. I was sleeping when my son started to play these gacha games, and was and still is into the amazing digital circus and was playing these easy to make gacha games. It didn't cost any in-game currency so he just kept pulling and pulling, until he found a new version of this character named Pogni, and later on during the day, he came up to me and looked frightened like he just saw a ghost. He told me that something scary happened on his gacha game and I just went to go check on it. My oldest child Brandon walked up to me with a more confused look on his face and showed me the iPad just as I opened the door to my room to get the device, and asked one simple question. Excuse me, but why is there a screamer on Axel's iPad? I looked down and yep, it was a screamer. It earlier was not recognizable, as upon me was screaming into the camera and looked heavily injured. At this time, I never recognized the voice because it was just nonsensical weeping and angered infused threats towards the player. My poor baby got jump scared by the same gacha game he was using for over three days now with a very gory image at his age, and I was angry. I thanked Brandon and searched through the game to find where this jump scare occurred, yet there was nothing. So I asked Axel a few questions on how did he get the screamer to activate, and he responded with only this. Monochrome. I had no idea what this meant, so I just took his word for it. I asked permission to reset his progress and he nodded yes, so I refreshed the page, and started working through the damn thing. And it was long and agonizing too, I don't know how my son managed to have the patience and time to do this. There were lots of versions of Pogni, some being called Blomni who was colored blue and had a more stern expression to her face, and Yelumni who was yellow and looked confident. This was an interesting one since all these variants were handmade, all with considerable effort for a crappy game like this. Eventually after 20 straight minutes of pulling Pogni's, I eventually got the thing I wanted to talk about. Monochrony. Monochrony like the rest was colored with one shade of the color represented, but has a few key differences that unnerved me the first time I saw her. Her face looked sorrowful and almost completely dulled of joy, parts of her clothing was a single color of dark gray that was the whole outline of her. She looked decrepit, and almost hollow. The usual color spiral spinning in the background also changed to a monotonous and grayed out still image, as a reversed version of the TADC theme song began to play. I continued and eventually found the biographies for the characters, and trudged through hundreds upon hundreds of these recolors. Each having the same backstory of this character named Kane cloning Pony and resulting with a unique clone with a unique personality. And before I could open the biography, I noticed something about the profiles. They all sported a look to the camera, but the ones near Monochrony had these expressions of resentment towards her icon as if they hated her with every fiber of their being. Monochrony herself was looking forward, her profile being the only one being animated. She was breathing deeply. I felt sick to my stomach knowing I had to check this thing's page and risk getting screamed at, but I had to solve what happened to my precious angel. So I clicked on it, and I got the screamer I never knew I expected. A disgusting mess that made my blood run cold. The screamer was Pony mutilating herself, tearing out her eyes, her teeth, her tongue as she ripped her clothes off to reveal flesh that didn't bleed and bones that were rusted like metal. Her screaming sounded as though a man was being tortured, crying hysterical as he was screaming. It sounded like the microphone was right there on the mouth, and the terrifying thing about it was that I remember that voice. It was from my ex-husband who tried too hard to please me and never ended up being there for our first child, and normally would get back at me by keying my car. It was months before I put a restraining order on him, and this was his voice I was hearing. 
But the worst part was what he was saying, and this was all I could remember. Marilyn and Carmela, my sweetheart. I fucking hate you, with every fiber of my being I hate you for what you did to me all those years ago. I helped you clean the car, I took you on the nicest trips. I helped you around the house and yet you still filed for that divorce. Do you understand how damn lucky you are to have that first kid with me? I tried my hardest, I tried everything to please you like the pig you are. But you always said that you wanted the littlest of things. The littlest of things. I tried so goddamn hard to be a father. And this is how I get repaid? A fucking divorce? I hope you enjoyed your little shit be scarred for the rest of his disgusting existence with that douchebag of a husband you have Marilyn. I hope you'll burn in hell where your entire fucking family are, you little piece of insufficient fucking son of a bitch cock sucking. It then just devolved into nonsensical ramblings about me and my family, and I was disgusted by the lengths this freak will go just to get back at me. I eventually reported this gacha game before saving the other ponies onto my kid's iPad so he can remember the good times, and he has since moved past then. And in a few days, he was arrested for endangering children with his game. Apparently my husband heard all of them and immediately called the cops, and soon enough, he was now in jail. And what does this mean for me? I've been more cautious on letting Axel play these types of games without me watching, but thanks to that little incident, he doesn't really play those anymore. Never let your children go on your sketchy websites like how I did, remember there are things that lie ahead on the internet, terrible and awful things. Good night and sleep tight.